Oh, there's Maginoni. And here's some comic reviews for you. We got Spider-Man, World's End, Catwoman's, some Avengers, and some Axes. So let's take a look here what we got. Now, with Spider-Man... Uh, okay, there's two parts to this. I think the beginning part is basically just your... All right, we got to finish up this team up. We got to put um, Ms. Marvel's place within the Spider-Man world or the Marvel Universe a little better. Um, we got to try to get some people who read Spider-Man to maybe want to read Ms. Marvel. The story is decent overall, and it does what it needs to do. The art, I think, is good. Uh, they they resolve Silk getting her costume and or w the reasoning why she gets her costume. And they also tie in the... Um, that uh, Spider-Man series where it was like that very first supervillain type thing that he didn't know it was a supervillain. And so I thought all of that was, all right, that, all that was good. You did a lot of work in here to tie loose ends and stuff. Now, the second part that I think people are probably going to freak out over is the Edge of the Spider universe. Now, it's been years since we've heard anything from the M2 line. And here we are, right here, Mayday Parker, sitting on the floor, laying on the floor, about to be killed. And she's back. So I'm not going to tell you what happens, but I will say that um, for you fans of the Spider-Man, you know, the um, Marvel Universe 2, there you go. Your wish has been granted. Mayday Parker. Overall, I thought the book was deep. It's a decent read overall. Uh, but I don't think, in terms of the storyline, it seems like it kind of went off the track a little bit, just so this way they can do the team up, and then hopefully Slot will bring it back to where it needs to go. But um, so I kind of almost look at this as a filler, a couple filler issues. All right, World's End, Earth Two. Okay, here's the deal. What we have here is the Earth Two superheroes fighting Apocalypse and his four horsemen of the Apocalypse. Um, as you can see here, we have, um, what is it, death, uh, famine, pestilence, and war at the very beginning. Uh, Dark Seed is, of course, Apocalypse. And for the most part, the heroes are just getting crushed. And at the very end, you know, we get treated to a Black Lantern type-ish tribute type thing without minus the ring and so to me it just seemed like you know like I, I hate this necessarily to compare this because I do believe that while there are blatant thefts of terms of storylines uh, this is just coincidence but to me it just looked like they drew as they were grabbing they didn't realize that as they grabbed it there's a lot of similarities to some other stories or ideas and and I realize that the four horsemen of the apocalypse that's not new but since that was a huge focus of the X-Men, it seems that it's like mighty fine coincidence type thing. Uh, overall, the story was okay. I don't think it, it um, I don't think it was as good as the first two, because this is pretty much you're just stuck resolving certain events in here, and I don't. But I don't think it really did much more than like to, like for an example, if this was a make or break issue for me, I would probably like I would be tempted to drop it but you know I'm in for the long haul for this so I'm really curious to see how this is gonna pan out so we'll see hopefully this will be good okay Catwoman number 35 all right hot off the heels from Batman Eternal where Catwoman gets betrayed and left to die uh, she basically now becomes the crime boss so this was foretold like several issues ago, and this is the start of that storyline. I don't know. It's kind of for me. There's there's too many storylines that are in entirely different timelines. So for a casual reader, it's going to be really difficult to figure out how events like basically stack up to each other. Now, other than that. That aside, if you just look at it just as a standard Catwoman issue, I think the art's fine. It gives it a more mature look. It's giving it more of a, you know, it's taking away the, well, look at that. She's just that hot girl with big boobs and a leather tight suit. You know, that takes that right out of it. And 
you know, you kind of have to treat this one as a little bit more seriously. And ultimately, you know, it's going to have a, that darker tone to it. So I, I like it, but I don't know if I'm going to keep getting it. Like, for instance, the reason being is I'm not 100% into the writing of this issue. I like what's going on, but I don't really necessarily like what the actually all the the actual plot completely. So that's why I'm kind of torn with it. But I I don't know. I'll see. Maybe I'll get the next one just to see what happens, and then figure out if I'm going to drop it from there. Okay, Avengers. All right, now we're going back in time, and we find out what happens. Was it eight months before the last issue? And, you know, where you had the superheroes on the run, I mean, sorry, the Illuminati on the run, and, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm like the Batwoman, Catwoman, I'm sorry, Batman, Catwoman issue, I'm having issues with the way they're doing this time stuff, it's like, you don't need to trick us and try to be like, look how cool we are, we can zig zigzag through time, just tell the story from start to finish, you know. I don't care about the spoilers parts of in the future to try to make me want to read it. Just tell me the tale. Don't try to be smart about it like that. Now, in this, it's kind of it is kind of funny to see Steve Rogers as the old man in the Captain America suit without the cane, and grabbing sledgehammers, bashing things up. And then other times you see Steve Rogers with clothing on, regular street clothes, and with a cane. So there's a definite inconsistency, and in all honesty. This is probably the very best built old man you'll ever see in your life. Now, besides all of that, I love the artwork. There are some panels which has some really jacked up faces of Steve Rogers. But overall, they're building a really interesting story. You know, you have the UN and how like the Terex is just kind of like going, well, you know, your heroes kind of fuck things up and... Don't worry, we're here to do your dirty work, and so that way you can live tomorrow. And, you know, it's really pissing off Steve Rogers and the other heroes that are were trying to do good. And um, the UN is, there's like, the way the UN and the way the people are reacting towards that, it's kind of like the good heroes are on a short leash, and, like, Reed is always, like, one step ahead of everybody. Which is, you know, that I just can't wait for that moment where they capture everybody. But at the same time, you know, you know n nothing is going to change. I mean, like, the events that are happening in this relate to nothing that's going on in the Fantastic Four book. Which is, a, it's, it's a shame, right there. But um, hopefully they'll be able to tie the events in Fantastic Four to this. And then... Something in other something else that's interesting could happen, but I don't know. We'll see. I, I even though I'm bitching and griping, I, I still enjoy it. I'm still on board. They also tied in the how Sunspot, Sunspot bought AIM, and then everybody's up to speed. So basically, this issue here is tying up loose ends to bring everybody up to the current, and so that way they can go forward because apparently there's things going on at different timelines, and people didn't know what was going on. And I don't know. I, I, I still enjoy it. I'm still on board. Call me glutton for punishment. All right. Axis number three. For everybody who bitched and growing, uh, groaned and complained that this was a forever evil copycat. You know, because here's the heroes that fighting the big villain. They suddenly disappear. The world is without heroes, and now the villains have to save them. All right. Well, that did happen in part two. In part three, we learned, okay, all the heroes are back. Everybody fought together at the end. And the story is taking an entirely different twist and turn. So for all you people, get off the ledge. Stand off your soapbox because the, the that comparison is gone now. I thought this issue really picked things up. Now, it didn't really necessarily pick things up in terms of the actual fighting because it's like they could have, this fighting is just basically cut and paste different characters. You know, you have, all right, fine, you have, you know, uh, Wolverine instead of Sabretooth. You know, you can have Spider Man instead of Carnage. You know, so, you know, you, it's just substitution. 
But the good moments were like, for an example, when you have um, at the beginning here, you have Deadpool pulling Tony Stark somewhere, and Deadpool is just running his mouth, and Tony Stark is like, "Just goddamn, tell me where you're taking me," and like that part was, I really enjoyed that part. You know, Magne Magneto turns back into the badass that he's supposed to be temporarily. Um, the Enchantress had her moments. Doctor Doom had his moments. And then when everything happened at the end, their world completely turned upside down. It's basically what Axis is doing is it's separating the Avengers and the X-Men again, uh, keeping them apart. And on top of that, it's adding further twists and turns along the way. Uh, one of the villains disappears, nobody knows where he's at, and the other big thing is um, what's inside the Red Skull. Is that Charles Xavier, or is that really still now the Red Skull with Charles Xavier's mind? Nobody knows. There's a fight over the body now, or the fight over, well, okay, it's not like he's dead, but they're fighting over him before he wakes up. So... I, I'm really on board with this now. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen. And um, so far, I'm enjoying this more than I enjoyed Original Sin, by far. Um, so I'm hoping that this will keep up its momentum. And um, I hope good things are going to come from this. Anyways, this is my reviews. Let me know what you guys uh, like this week. And uh, like and share. Uh, I'll have more stuff later. I got manga coming. I had manga, so I'll probably do a manga uh, pool. And um, like uh, Facebook, Crunchyroll Anime Reviews. And then more reviews later. So until next time.